Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a reading for Cancer. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Cancer, this is your monthly reading. Let's see what's going on for July 2021 for you guys. Um, it is of course a general reading. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Feel free to check out your other placements as well. But Cancer, I'm going to focus on your current energy for the month, um, the energy of the people, person, situations surrounding you, um, and the overall outcome of those situations, a few more clarifying cards, plus a couple cards for um, advice, any other messages that need to come through for my beautiful Cancer viewers in the month of July 2021. Let's see what's going on with you guys. If you do enjoy the reading, don't forget to like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Helps me grow the channel, helps me keep going, keep creating these readings for you guys. I can't remember who got this. Uh, maybe Gemini. Um, let's see what else wants to come out here. Death has been coming out a lot. Um, who else? I think Pisces um, got that card. Let's see what else. In that position, I believe as well. See, could of course um, be dealing with the Scorpio, that's Scorpio energy. So we've got Leo energy, Scorpio energy, we've got um, more Cups energy, so um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and we've got um, Capricorn energy or other Earth energy there with the Queen of Pentacles, so um, Capricorn, but also Taurus, Virgo. We've got a few more cards here. Interesting, more Virgo energy and more Earth energy. Okay. Um, I think Pisces got this as well. But again, more Earth energy. Lots of Earth energy um, in the last couple of cards. So could be something to do with career finances, um, making a decision about that. Um, we've got the Two of Swords at the bottom of the deck there. So there is this air about needing to make a decision, make a choice. We've You're being very patient. We've got um, the Strength card here, Leo Energy, and Seven of Cups. Cancer, there's something, um, you're trying to be very patient, very calm about it, but there's something that has you emotionally confused, for sure. There's a lot of confusion going on. There may be a lot of choices. Um, there may be more than one choice. There may be, um, you know, some kind of decision you need to make and it's difficult. It's not easy because you want to go down the right path. You want to choose, you know, the cup of jewels and riches you don't want to choose the cup that has the snake in it or you know the cup that's gonna have the creature in it that's gonna bite you so um you want to make the right decision and you need to take your time and you need to be strong and i feel like there's a lot of temptation around a lot of you as well and there could be someone you've dealt with that it's difficult to say no to them it's you feel like you are very tempted by this person like you do want to give in to this person's energy, but you've got to be very strong. And I feel like you are, again, with that strength card, but it's almost like you've got to tame your own self. You've got to keep a control of your own temptation when it comes to this person or this situation. Um, they're, they're almost leading you astray. There's something that's leading you astray. You've got a lot of options. So you've got to really think about things and take your time. Again, take your time. Um, don't make any rash decisions. We've got the energy of change, transformation with the death card here, Scorpio energy, and we've got Capricorn energy. Could be dealing with a Scorpio or a Capricorn or another Earth sign, potentially Taurus, Virgo. Um you know, I'm getting this sense that it's time to move on from this emotional confusion and find the person who's going to bring in stability into your life and who's going to make you feel a lot more calm and stable. You're looking for that, but the change is coming. The change is coming. And I will pull up a few more cards for clarification, whether this is the change in another person, whether this is um, a change in yourself, 
um, we'll see what wants to come out there. We've got the Page of Pentacles, Hermit, and the Eight of Pentacles. You're not ready to give up on something yet. You're still wanting to work hard towards something. You are having to take a little bit of a step back or someone is. Maybe, you know, you and this individual you're dealing with going to need to take a step back here with the Hermit energy. This is all about really looking within for the answers. You haven't quite achieved what you're seeking yet. You haven't achieved that wish um, that you're wishing for or that you're thinking of. Um, the thing that would really make you feel happy and fulfilled or so you think you have not achieved that yet. So you've had to take a little bit of a step back and do some internal analysis. Page of Pentacles, there is potentially, you know, there's something that you're interested in here. There's something that you feel like has that promise for the future. You're not ready to completely give it all up for this person yet because um, it's still, you know, early days and you're still not sure if you can do that. And there's still that emotional confusion. You need to get rid of this confusion before you can really make that solid offer. But there could also be an offer coming in and it's not huge. It's small. This is a page, page of pentacles, but it's solid. It's something small, but solid. And it has that promise for the future, but something needs to be worked on. And you're not ready to give up yet. You're ready to still continue to put that work and effort in. There's something or someone that you are extremely focused on. And like I said, we do have pentacles energy here. So it could be to do with work, career, finances. It could be something that you're just really dedicated to. And maybe you haven't seen all the results yet, but you're remaining strong. You're remaining focused. You're remaining um, true to your goals, your original goal that you set. So I like that because you set some sort of a goal that's a promise for the future and you're working hard towards that, Cancer. We've got the Two of Swords energy here and we've got the Two of Pentacles. So um, again, we've got that strong um, you know, thing about making a choice, balance. How am I going to juggle everything? How am I going to choose? There could be two things or two people or two jobs that you're having to choose between and you're just not sure which way to go because you don't have all the answers yet. You don't have all the answers. Now, some of you may be deliberately um, being blind to something. I'm not going to lie with that. Two of Swords energy, you may already feel like you know something intuitively or you have the answer that you need, but you just, you're not wanting to admit that yet. And maybe some of you are needing more balance in your life. So maybe a few of you are feeling like you're doing too much. You're working too hard. It's like you're, you're trying to give, you're giving all that you can. Um, and you're, you are getting something back, but it's not, you're not getting it back tenfold. It's not like a big return on the investment. It's like, it's enough to keep you going. And this could be to do with an actual job. So it's more like the money coming in is equal to the money going out. So you might feel like you're working super hard, but then you've also got to pay all these bills and it's just difficult to like get ahead. Um, or some of you are feeling like, again, with a with an individual in a relationship, you're putting in effort, you're getting something back, but you'd like more. You want to see that pay off a little bit more. Um, you want to get to this point where you've achieved some kind of financial independence and stability. So I think a lot of you are really feeling like you're not super comfortable on your own at the moment. You feel as though... Um, you need to almost combine resources with someone in order to get what you what you need in order to feel comfortable. But you really wish that you could feel it on your own. Don't give up yet. Don't give up yet because you're working very hard and I feel like it is going to pay off. Once again, I am going to pull um, a few more cards for clarification here so we can get more of an idea. And I will pull some cards for advice as well. But you're certainly not ready to drop this yet. If this is a choice between something new or sticking with what you're, you're doing at the moment, I feel like you are going to stick with it for the time being at least. We've got the two of um, pentacles energy again. So again, something is feeling like you're working very hard. You're working very hard and you're not getting enough rewards. You're not getting enough rewards. You're feeling defensive. You may be dealing with people where there's differences in opinion and, you know, things aren't really moving forward um, in a very, like, collegial way. Um, something is causing you a little bit of stress. Um, it's almost like you're waiting for some kind of bad news to come in, but it's not necessarily going to come. Don't stress about that. Um, just keep going. Keep going. Let's see what else I want to get here. I just want a couple. We've got the hermit energy again.
Cancer, I think it's time to take a little bit of a rest. I'm not saying don't stop working. I'm not saying like quit your job. I'm just saying, I'm not saying give up on this person. I'm just saying do something for you. Um, that's important. It's going to help you recharge your batteries. Sorry if you guys just feel that. It's going to help you recharge your batteries um, and maybe get that clearer focus that you need. Again, you know, do whatever it takes. Like just, you know, put your feet up for a bit. Like just, I don't know get a massage do something that's just kind of nice for you that you like doing even something very very basic and and simple I think it's time for that because um you know maybe you even need to learn something new do something that's just interesting for you do something that's mentally stimulating um that can get you thinking about something else completely, get you out of your head because you're a little bit trapped in this kind of circumstance. You're a little bit too focused on it maybe. So it's time to just break that by doing something completely uh, different. Learn about something completely different. Just do something that's interesting. Get a new book to read. I don't know, something that's just going to um, get you mentally somewhere else, give you a bit more clarity that you need. Um, I do feel like, yeah, two of cups, this may have to do with someone who you feel like this could be some sort of soulmate connection. This could be a very important partnership. You don't want to make the wrong decision here. Got a lot of twos in this reading. Got the eight of pentacles again. Keep working hard towards something. Got your card here. We've got the chariot, cancer energy. Something's going to start moving forward soon. And we've got the six of cups. This could be someone who you've dealt with in the past. It's got that energy of reconciliation potentially for some of you. Um, don't give up just yet. There is going to be some kind of reward coming in. Something's going to come in that will just ease the pressure a little bit. This is either if this has to do with a romantic connection, this could be some kind of final promise offer for the future something that helps things move forward to the next level victoriously this could be some sort of gift some sort of physical gift or an increase in money some sort of bonus um, something that's going to help you feel like the pressure has eased and like things can finally start to move forward a bit more confidently so don't give up yet I knew that something good was coming I knew it was in the cards because you're too focused um and it's good you're doing the right things you're staying strong empress energy you've got Taurus Libra energy there um keep going because whatever you're working on it will start to grow it will be abundant you've got that energy of just keep your head down keep working don't give up keep your eye on the prize you're so close and with the Eight of Pentacles, you're wanting again to get to that nine. You're wanting to get to that comfortable place where you feel comfortable, where you feel solid, where you feel stable and where you feel like you, you are good on your own as well. You don't necessarily need to have someone else helping you. You're almost there. You're almost there. Big, big growth and abundance for what you're working on at the moment. So don't give up. And victory, six of fire, six of wands. Sometimes that's, um, you know, celebration. Sometimes that's like wedding, that sort of energy. This is could be like an actual relationship sort of victory as well. This could be an increase in your own popularity. Um, this is, yeah, keep working on what you're working on because it's only going to grow and expand. Um, sometimes it can be difficult, again, when you've got too much of a focus on one thing, when you're too hyper-focused on, say, money, you're too worried about it, um, don't get too um, obsessed with it. It might be time to, again, just take a step back, relax, do something else, do something that can take your mind off it for a while. Because if you have this tendency to get really stuck and feel like you're trapped in like your own mental prison, you need to break free of that. And a way to help you is to just um, think about something else or um, do something else that's going to stimulate you mentally in another way. Um, or just take some time out, take a break for some rest, relaxation, do 
something, even if it's something small for like 10, 15 minutes, just something that helps you recharge your batteries and helps you not be so focused on the one thing. So be aware of that. You still need a little bit of balance. You can work hard, but still have a little bit of balance in your life as well. But it's going to pay off. Keep going. Victory is coming. Growth and abundance is coming. So this situation is going to improve. Your money is going to improve. It may be slow, but you're going to see definite signs of improvement um, and you're going to see um, an improvement when it comes to whoever you're dealing with. There's going to be a moving forward. Some, something's going to get to that next step, to that next level um, to help you get out of this kind of emotional confusion. There's going to be a little bit, um, there's going to be something a little bit more solid coming so don't give up just yet it's not there yet but it's coming cancer i hope you enjoyed that reading thank you for much so much for watching and if you did enjoy it don't forget to like and subscribe um, thank you again i hope to see you all in the next video